So I assume you're, you're coming to us from your bedroom because you're like many people working from your home because of COVID. Is that a fair assessment? Well, it's actually my son's old bedroom uh, rather than my current bedroom. Yes, we're, we're locked down in COVID and uh, working out of the home. So uh, how have you found that to be? I mean, you're a technology company, so people would presume you're pretty good at adapting, but did it turn out to be harder than you thought, or was it actually easier than you thought? Well, you know, the hardest thing for us is in producing our, our films and series, you know, because that's very much on set and a physical uh, realm and we're working on that but I would say it's a hallmark of the culture to be very adaptive no one waits for me to tell them what to do and when you've built a culture as we have um, everybody pitches in and figures out what they need to do and an example would be our animation group I had nothing to do with it can't take the credit but they moved hundreds of workstations out of the office into the home over a weekend and have been able to continue to produce, you know, great animated films and series uh, from the house in a way that was remarkable and not centrally directed. Many CEOs with whom I've talked say off camera that they're not gonna be hiring back everybody that they once had. They realize they can get by with fewer people and they don't need as much office space because many people are happy to work from home. Will that be true in your case? Well, look, the virus has been so tragic uh, for people, for the economy, for unemployment, and certainly hotels and other businesses like that are down. Um, fortunately, as an internet business, we're actually up, so we've continued to hire all the way through this uh, crisis, and we're adding new buildings still. Um, so, you know, we're incredibly fortunate.